Welcome back to the Robot Underground. I'm your host, Parker, and sadly, Greta has homework, so she's not here with us today. F's in the chat. This is the official setup portion of the Robot Underground curriculum. And in this tutorial, we're gonna cover getting your hands on your first robot kit. To navigate to a different place in the Robot Underground, use the handy roadmap linked in the description. Ha, ah, the robot kit. Home to all the build pieces and sensors you could ever ask for. Now the Robot Underground, and we're talking all six levels of the Robot Underground, uses essentially two types of kits. You're gonna start off with the Vex IQ Super Kit in levels one and two, and then you're gonna graduate to a spicy Meatbots Kit in level three, getting your hands on some spicy expansion packs in levels four and five. Now, since it's gonna be a little bit before you're ready to dive into the land of spicy Meatbots, now that's a spicy Meatbot, this guide is gonna cover your very first kit for levels one and two, the Vex IQ Super Kit. Now, you might have seen this kit before, and if you've had experience with it, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, I'm way beyond this beginner's kit. What else have we got? Well, I would caution you to hold your horses there because while these robots might look cuddly, you haven't watched our coding tutorials for levels one and two yet. They ramp up really fast, and by your fourth robot, you're gonna be writing autonomous and driver-controlled routines in a text-based language with functional decomposition, so you might wanna give it a chance. This kit is gonna lay the foundation for the insane building, wiring, and coding that you're gonna be diving into in levels three and up. Now, compared to other beginner's kits in a similar price range, this one, in our opinion, is by far the best option. It's gonna give you a ton of build pieces and sensors to mess around with, and you're gonna use it to bring to life seven different robots, although the possibilities are endless. This is not sponsored, by the way. Although, Vex, you wanna, you wanna get in touch with our people or something? Mm -hmm. We'll leave a link below to the VEX website so that you can purchase your very own VEX IQ Super Kit. Now, we know this is a big chunk of change, but we'd argue that you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of this thing. Plus, you should really know that if you do take good care of your kit, uh, they seem to hold their value in terms of resale. Look them up on eBay and you're gonna see what we mean. Now I'll link an official tour of this kit in the description below so that you can get a better sense of what's included. But besides a computer, which Greta's gonna cover in another video, and Wi-Fi connection, which you probably have access to if you're watching this tutorial, this kit is all you need to start building robots. There are a couple things we recommend you pick up though. One is a pair of needle nose pliers. You can pick them up at any hardware store. Our personal favorite is Harbor Freight because they're literally $2. The other is a small parts organizer that you can get at the Dollar Tree or something like that to organize all your small miscellaneous parts that come in the kit. And of course, like I mentioned at the start of this setup series, you might wanna equip yourself with your own robot trainer's journal slash notebook slash pocketbook to capture those little juicy nuggets of knowledge that you might come across when you dive into building robots. And finally, if you have any questions about getting set up with the Robot Underground or are stuck on something and pulling your little head hairs out, we've linked our subreddit in the description where you can see frequently asked preguntas or post a question yourself. And now that is how you lock down your very first robot kit. I'm gonna see you in the next tutorial because it is gonna be a rager. Have a good night. Peace out.